The new SLS AMG Black Series is the fastest, most hardcore AMG ever. It costs £230,000, weighs 1,550 kilograms, has 631 horsepower and, on track, intends to ingest GT3 RSs. This is Paul Ricard's circuit and we're not paying for tyres. Let's start with the chassis. Pretty much every aspect has been improved or sharpened for the track. The front track itself is 20mm wider, the rear is 24mm wider, the springs and dampers are stiffer, the wheel carriers are new, the wheels are wider and use sticky Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 rubber. Being a black series, the bodywork's been mildly inflated, 13mm wider at the front, 26 wider at the rear. There are spoilers and diffusers to reduce lift, and it has to be said, a slightly apologetic adjustable rear wing. The motor is the classic M156 6.2 litre V8, and this is its last night on the beers before everything is turbocharged. Boo! But there's new valve gear, a trick intake with shorter runners, bigger bearings and a new oil system. It likes to rev to 8 now, and that means it actually loses 9 foot-pounds of torque to the standard motor. Gear shifts have been made faster, the gearbox sits a little lower, there are proper bucket seats and, well, it's now 70 kilograms lighter overall. And this is how. Quite often at launch events, you end up with a load of useless tat on display that means absolutely nothing. But in the case of this Black Series, they've been quite helpful because they've shown us the parts that shed all of the weight. So, first of all, ignore the cutaway and follow me. Exhaust systems. That one there. Stainless steel, very nice, but heavy. This one here, titanium. It says on the wall, titanium system, 13 kilograms. You take a kilogram weight, okay, and you get 13 of them together, it's quite a lot. Follow me around the corner. This is a prop shaft, okay. Normally, cast aluminium. In the Black Series, carbon fibre. I don't think it's as sexily finished as that underneath the car. Minus 13.3 kilograms, quite a lot. Here's a freaky one, batteries. This one here, normal battery. Wait. This one here, lithium iron. These are the things I think that go pop in Boeings. Ready? I'll do that again for you. You don't lie. That is eight kilograms saved. Back over here. For all you Americans, this is called a hood. For all of us that live in Europe, a hood's something you put on your head when it's raining. We'll call it a bonnet, shall we? Okay, uh, this one's made of carbon. I can't tell you how much weight it saves because there's no label saying it. But it definitely saves weight. Come to the cutaway. Okay, everything that's new on the car is painted orange very helpfully. Okay, so we've got a different damper. We've got a nicer damper, we've got a more expensive damper, and we've got different spring rates, obviously, because the car weighs a bit less, but it also needs to be a bit firmer because it's more sporting. This bit here is interesting, okay? That is a differential. There's an electric motor in there, and Jaguar pioneered this thing many years ago with the current XKR and XFR. So you have an electric motor that's altering the amount of locking factor in the differential. This is really clever and certainly more powerful than the Jaguar one and works really well in the car as we find out in the video. Okay, this is quite clever. So, one diff, there's the electric motor. Look at, all the, look at the amount of gears in here, Christ. Okay, so the motor is basically applying totally different amounts of locking factor into the differential, but it is mechanical. There's a clutch type diff in there as well. It's really clever because it means that you can have quite a lot of lock when you need it and the diff can be quite open when you need it as well. Open at high speed in a straight line to give you more stability, tight coming out of a second gear corner when you want to get both wheels spinning up nicely. Hmm. It's not a profoundly different car to an SLS or an SLS GT, but it just incrementally, in so many areas, takes it to another level. And the driving experience, yeah, as you're about to find out, that's quite special too. Time is tight at Paul Ricard because we're working rather fast. Didn't get as much time as I'd hoped with the car. However, we have got the circuit. We're gonna do two laps in this new car. We're gonna do one lap fast and straight, then we might do one lap with a little more movement in the car. 
this SLS Black Series is a very serious piece of kit. A lot more power, a lot more torque, and less weight. So, let's see what it's like onto this mean main straight. Now revs all the way out to 8,000 RPM, a faster gear shift than I remember from the car that I ran. Break at around 150 meters. You don't need anything less than third gear here. Paul Ray car's a very flat circuit. There's oversteer straight away. Back axle wants to move around. I've got the Jetsy Electronics in sport mode. That means it's allowing a bit of slip. Gear shift's definitely more aggressive than before. A little bit of understeer in front of the car there. So we have got some slip either way. Pilot Sport coming two tire. Ooh, little hip waggle there. But the shifts are quicker. This engine. 2 litres revving out to nearly 8,000 RPM. There's a lot going on, isn't there? This is a fast corner. Tip it in. Really nice front end and speed. I like that a lot. This thing's going to be mega at the Nürburgring. This is sort of a never ending run. Oh, bit of an oversteer there as it followed me around. Let's knock it back again, see if we can bring the nose in. Oh, yes. Let it run out. Listen to the noise. This thing has got quite a bit of balance. 630 horsepower, oh, all suggestive of oversteer. Follow it round. Try and hold the line. Never ending corner. Now, second gear round on this hairpin onto the main straight. Oh, a bit of a wobble. Anyhow, I'm not setting lap times, I can barely remember the circuit. Now then, let's turn a few things off. Find out what happens. Right, so that's all the system's off. What's the first thing that happens? Oh, we get some of that, do we? Right, fair enough. This car is absolutely Rock on the fun. Ceramic brakes, good bike from them. Oh yes. Oh yes. Gotta be quite quick, but it's very rewarding. Long wheelbase. So it'll play both roles. It can be driven neat and tidy. If you want to be a complete idiot, it's very good too. It's good in the high speed stuff. Must have a little bit of aero going on. Base, loads of balance. You can just back it in on the brakes a bit like that as well, catch it with a bit of throttle and then ride out the most delicious slide. It's a proper bit of kit. What a fantastically exciting car. I suppose some of the lucky 350 owners will use their SLS Black Series on a circuit. I hope they do, because it's flipping excellent out there, even if the new Michelins do seem to go off quite quickly. Just how far removed from that staid Mercedes image is this car? It's not as sexy as an F12, but it might well take care of one on a track. And it's got gullwing doors, and gullwing doors help a man win any pub argument, especially with that noise. <laughs> 